In this video, we're going to do the Khan Academy Challenge Bouncy Ball. So, as the little screen starts out here, we have uh, this ball that's falling down and it just keeps falling all the way. So, what they want us to do is they want us to stop it once it gets to the bottom and make it bounce back up again. So, um, to do this, we're going to use an if statement. And uh, if, and then we put parentheses, we put the condition that we're giving it. So, in this case, we want it to stop bouncing down here at the bottom and I think that this square is about 400 by 400 so we want to say if and and this the down up and down is the y variable so we want to say if y becomes greater uh, than 400 and that's our that's our condition the if condition and then what we want it to do after that is we want it to change the speed and, and and we can use speed because it's been defined as a variable up here. So then I'm going to do equals, and I'm going to say negative five. So it's move. So it's along the y down is positive and up is negative. So we're subtracting five. It's going back up. I need a semicolon. I need a squiggly bracket. And now let's let's restart and run it. So it's going to move down, 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 down. And then it gets to 400, and then it starts going back up. It actually looks like it's going a little bit faster going down. Um, so that's there. And all right, we can go to the next step. And then it says now we want it to reverse once it hits the ceiling too. So we want to stop it from going off the page up here. So we need to do a very similar thing. We want to do if y, and then we want it to be less than 0. And that's our condition. And then we need to do curly brackets and say the speed equals five semicolon and the curly brackets. Restart. And now we can see the ball moving down. It hits the bottom, it bounces back up, and it just keeps going back and forth because we have these if statements telling it what to do depending on the situation that it's in. That's it.